Well, one, I think we're accessing on mobile devices because they're more affordable. Um, it's easier to pick up a phone than it is a laptop or even a tablet. Um, so for that reason, two, paying for a plan on a phone is less expensive than paying for a plan in your home uh, on, in most cases. And then in many cases, we have African Americans and poor folks that just don't have access to the actual broadband hookup. So there's one of a number of reasons why we're accessing on mobile devices more than anything else. So two things. One, yes, it's clearly important that, that um, we expand broadband access. I mean, I think the, the president's notion of 98% of G um, by any date is an ambitious one. Um, and, and all of us have our, our uh, kind of hypotheses on how we get there. But the fact that we do get there is what's essential. Um, that people in rural communities and poor communities have access to broadband is essential, not so somebody can go online and tweet their friend or somebody can set up a new Facebook page so that people can do online banking, so that people can have access to e-health resources, so that people can research what, what uh, uh, scholarships are available, so people have the ability to be empowered by the information that comes with broadband, not just how can I go on HBO Go and watch the episode of the, of the, of the entourage that I missed. And while all that I think is, is cool from, from an access standpoint, Black folks in particular need to be empowered by technology and broadband, not just entertained by it.